this is a AI generated image of what we would imagine to be another planet uh, an alien planet one that has ancient Egyptian architecture here is a scene of the apocalypse and understanding about extraterrestrials and how extraterrestrials have had something to do with our actual seeding here on the planet earth uh, and that the harvest pertains to these extraterrestrials coming to reap what they have sown uh, they planted us on the planet and now they're coming back to reap from the planet now here is a depiction of extraterrestrial beings enslaving uh, human nations on the planet earth when they come uh, this is also imaginative imagery uh, it gives you the option of what it is that the AI generator is to generate as a app um, here is a depiction of some type of uh, extraterrestrial spacecraft abducting a monkey uh, some type of life form from the earth um, there are other images that the chat AI generator generated some of the descriptions are going to be um, like the Sun um, in outer space it's supposed to represent um, our creation um, showing you the um, early stages of the Sun's creation um, there are other images that we did with the chat uh, AI generator uh, and it is depictions such as these uh, white robed Nubian or black looking characters melanated people uh, some people would call these angelic beings or angels or the 144,000 people have these depictions in their mind of what these uh, images will entail and so the chat also had a description of God God Almighty on the throne with the angels around him as you can see he is a black man like Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9 um, these chapters that are in the Bible give you the depiction of God having hair of pure wool the same as the depiction of Jesus Christ in the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14 shows Jesus um, in the midst of seven candlesticks and then he's got like seven stars in the other hand and a um, a golden girdle girded about the paths with a golden girdle so these are depictions of Moses versus the Pharaoh from the Exodus story of the uh, salvation of the Israelites from Egypt now they were uh, taken through the Red Sea and survived and the Egyptians were swallowed up in the sea as it uh, went back together here's a depiction of um, a messiah like figure standing in front of the world explaining to the world the things of truth and the ultimate destiny of humanity what things take place uh, in order for our total human salvation if there is such a thing here is a depiction of what we would call a messiah figure a um, what jesus would possibly look like hair of lamb's wool as white as snow and um, eyes like uh, flames of fire skin like bronze these are depictions that we see in the book of revelations and they are clearly the depiction of a black man so the ai generator uh, is generating these things as you can see it's a an alien some people call these aliens the grays or the Ramardians, or the Zeta Reticulans, but the usually depicted extraterrestrial beings that you see in the Hollywood depictions or movies or commercials or just popular fan fantasy, you will see these type of extraterrestrials and he has a fez on. These are angels, black angels. As you can see, they are the eldered uh, female birds. Um, female angels in the Bible were known as birds. These were the guardian angels that were at the um, guardian uh, gates of the um, Garden of Eden. Now here's another depiction of a uh, figure that is in a white robe. We say Jalabia or white robe and in the background you can see a extraterrestrial spacecraft. We say not a UFO but an IFO, an identified flying object. Not an unidentified flying object or an unidentified aerial phenomenon but an identified aerial phenomenon. Um, here's another depiction of this Messiah, Maitreya, or a Christ-like figure um, having this crown shape or a chariot over his head. You shall receive a crown of everlasting life. This is what these things that are in the Bible have these meanings pertaining to extraterrestrial technology. Here's a depiction of the Wabs, W-A-B, um, the ancient priests of ancient Egypt, um, how they looked, some of the depictions of these um, ancient Nubian 
or ancient Egyptian or ancient Kushite, Ethiopian, um, ancient beings. So you can see the depiction of Christ and the disciples on the Mountain of Transfiguration. This is also a depiction of Christ and the 12 disciples, as you can see the color variations. And you can also see the baptism of the 12 disciples, and this is Christ um, baptizing the disciples. This is the return of Christ in the second coming, and how he's going to um, have stained raiment. This is the depiction of extraterrestrial spacecrafts over the White House. This is the slaying of reptilians. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is the Garden of... Um, this is, no, this is the... Um, what is that? Noah's Ark. It's the, it's the images are flying so fast. Uh, that's the planet Mars. This is the, the base on the back of the moon, on the dark side of the moon. This is what that's supposed to be. An ancient Egyptian chariot. As you can see, it's Egyptian style, but it also is a chariot. And also extraterrestrials pertaining to the building of the Sphinx.